for watching the headlines with me and Devavi Hazra. Election strategist Prashant Kishore offered to resign after JDU Chief and Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar's support to the Citizenship Amendment Act. His offer to resign was rejected by Nitish. However, Prashant Kishore once again took a dig at the BJP for the CAA, saying this will be the demonetization of citizenship and the biggest sufferers would be the poor and the marginalized. Another protester has succumbed to bullet injuries in Assam, taking the death toll in CAA-related protests to five. Meanwhile, it appears that in Assam, an uneasy calm is returning with curfew being relaxed in Guwahati and Dibrugarh. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal said misinformation was being spread about the Citizenship Amendment Act and he assured the rights of the Assamese people will be protected. Sporadic incidents of violence, meanwhile, have been reported in West Bengal as well. Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has called for democratic protests. A key BJP ally in Assam, the Assam Ghana Parishad, has decided to oppose the Citizenship Amendment Act after a rethink prompted by the massive protests in the state. The AGP said it will approach the Supreme Court against the contentious act. Meanwhile, Home Minister Amit Shah said he will be meeting Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma to resolve issues of the state on the Citizenship Act. Former Indian Air Force chief who retired earlier this year, B.S. Dhanwa said that India was ready to escalate the attack on Pakistan if the Pakistan Air Force had succeeded in hitting Indian military installations, which were their target post the Balakot anti-terror airstrikes. This could have resulted in an open war between the two nuclear-armed neighbours. Rahul Gandhi's statement on Hindu ideologue Vinayak Damodar Savarkar has not gone down well with the Maharashtra Alliance Partnership Sena. The Sena said that it will not compromise with the godlike figure of Savarkar. Meanwhile, BJP's uh, Devendra Fadnavis said that the country will not tolerate any insult to Savarkar and alleged that the Shiv Sena had gone soft on the Congress. JNU Vice Chancellor M. Jagdish Kumar's car was geared out by about 10 to 15 JNU students who were protesting against the hostel fee hike on the JNU campus on Saturday. The Vice Chancellor claimed that the students tried to attack him and were very abusive. The administration says that the attack was caught on CCTV and strict action will be taken against the protesters. Actor Payal Rohadgi was on Sunday detained by Rajasthan police for allegedly making objectionable remarks against the family of freedom fighter Motilal Nehru, his granddaughter Indira Gandhi and her husband Feroz Gandhi on social media in October. Rohadgi, however, claimed that she was arrested by the cops. The United Nations Commission on the Status of Women has said that discriminatory legislation by the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf government has empowered people with extremist mindsets to carry out attacks on religious minorities. The commission said that Christian and Hindu communities in Pakistan were particularly vulnerable. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.